So my first guess for why this happened is that it probably happened is not showing correctly when we look at the HTML page because of the HTML file. The HTML file is trying to embed a Flash movie that's 1024 by 768, but we changed our Flash movie to 1024 by 840. But in the HTML um, that basically embeds the Flash movie into the web page, was that changed? And so we might need to change that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open that up in Notepad. Okay, open with, let's see here, uh, maybe I'll open it with a Notepad, or I could open it with Dreamweaver, or I could open it with any one of these programs, but I, I want to open it with Notepad just to make it simple. I don't need to open up a big giant program to do a small edit. So there's Notepad, File Open. All right, I'm going to close this for now. And I need to go to my desktop. Look for all files. There is the HTML page. And then we open it up and Hopefully you can see this. Um, we're looking for some sizes here. And it says here, object tag. This is what embeds the um, Flash movie on the page, 1024 by 768. We're going to need to change that to 840 right there. And then I'm going to scroll down and look at see if there's any other places. See, that one says 768. Let's change that to 840 since we changed the size of our Flash movie, um, we want to do this. Now, why... Okay, I'm done that. I changed it in two places, here and here. I'm going to hit File, Save, and then I will refresh the window here to see if that fixed it, and sure enough, it did. So now I can see my transparent dark overlay over the top, and everything fits normally. Now, one question you might have is, well, why not just go into your Flash movie and go to Publish Settings and republish a Flash Swift and an HTML file? Well, I could have done that, and then I would have gotten a new Swift and a new HTML file, but I had made manual edits to my HTML file. And so if I just published a new one from Flash, all my manual edits would be gone. And I, and, I, and I would lose all that. You know, we changed uh, the um, background image here on the HTML file. And we centered, we aligned center the Flash movie in the HTML file. So we had done some edits to it, so I didn't want to change that. Now the next question also is, do I like the effect that this has? Now I'm trying to use this artistic kind of background on my site. And, you know, it's a painting that I had painted years ago, and then I threw away the painting. And so the question is, will it make a nice website, though? I have no idea. I'm just kind of going at this and just hoping that something good happens here, just trying to show you the process. So what I might do is go back to my Flash movie here. I'm going to turn this eyeball back on for the transparent overlay. And I'll select it, and I will change it, the fill color, to white. So now it's white but it's also 67% transparent. And so this is what it looks like with a white transparency on that, right? It's a transparent overlay. I'll lock it. I'll hit Control Enter, publish a new Flash movie, right? Not a new HTML file, just a movie. And then what I can do is I can open up my browser again, right? And this is the HTML file. Notice this is my folder, my HTML file. I'll refresh it and I can see what it looks like with a lighter version of the um, page. And I like that. That's, that's okay. It's not that bad. Um, I'm going to probably have to modify it quite a bit. Um, unlock it, select it, and maybe change the transparency down even lower, maybe to 45% and you know repeat the process hit control enter publish a movie go back to the web browser refresh and review okay and so far um, 
I think I like that the best to begin with. So I'll keep it and I'll lock the layer and make a new layer and it's time for the next piece. The next piece will be the transparent um, logo and body area that needs to come in. All right, so you've got the logo that comes in next and then also um, what else comes in here? Also we have the white body area which I might do before the logo. So this kind of tabbed area of white which we'll do next.